it's complicated. It is a huge, messy process trying to make sense of the biology of human social behavior. And just as all sorts of realms, when one deals with messy, complicated problems that you need to think about in some wildly interacting way, we all have a strategy that we come up with. A strategy to make things easier, which is that we think in categories. We think in categories, we take things that are continua and we break them into categories and we label those categories. And we do that in various settings because it could be extremely useful. Here's one of the classic continua that we ever deal with, which is the continua of color, the varying wavelengths that take the rainbow from violet to red, and there's an infinite number of spaces in between. And what do we do? We have rules in English that you divide the continua here and here or whatever, and that's what you call a color. Why do we do that? because it makes it easier to store the information away. Instead of remembering the absolute features of something, you simply say, it's A. It's the color orange. How do you know that's the case? Because go and take people from other language groups where their language arbitrarily divides the rainbow at other points with completely different color terms, and they remember different profiles of colors differently than an English speaker might. Take a color, and if the color comes right in the center of somebody's color categorization, if it comes right in the middle of the range of what counts as that color, people remember whether they saw that color or not far better than if you show them a color at the boundary. And people will show that as a function of what language they speak. Taking a continua and you break it into pieces because it's easier to deal with the facts. Thinking in categories makes it easier for us to remember stuff. And it makes it easier for us to evaluate stuff. So that's a classic sort of response that we have cognitively to complicated things. But there's a bunch of problems with categorical thinking which is when you pay too much attention to boundaries, you don't see the big picture. All you see are categories.